Okay, in today's video, we're going to focus in on a conversation between a traveler to the United States and a customs officer at the border. That means when you come off the airplane, the first person you speak to, you show your passport to, they might have some questions for you. So we're going to look in some detail at the kinds of questions that you can expect when you come to the United States and you speak with a customs official. If you like these videos, please don't forget, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. I put out new videos every week. Okay. I'm going to give you a list of the phrases that you're going to hear in this conversation. Can I see your passport, please? What's the purpose of your visit? How long will you be staying in the United States? Where will you be staying? Can I have your customs form, please? Are you bringing anything into the country you want to declare? I'm going to take your fingerprints and a photograph. Can you place your index finger from your left hand on the screen, please? Now, please look directly into the camera. Listen to the conversation between a tourist entering the United States and the customs official. Look out for those expressions that we just looked at. Hello, can I see your passport, please? Sure, here you are. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from the United Kingdom. What is the purpose of the visit? I'm here on vacation. Are you traveling alone? No, I'm here with my family. They're in the line behind me. How long will you be staying in the United States? Two weeks. Where will you be staying? We're staying at the Marriott Inn here in Tampa for one week. And then we're traveling over to the Hilton in Orlando for one week. Can I have your customs form, please? Is this it? Yes. You were given it on the plane. You should have completed it. Yeah, here it is. Sorry. Here you go. Are you bringing anything into the country you want to declare? No, nothing. We're going to take your fingerprints first. Can you place the index finger from your left hand on the screen, please? Sure. Then your middle finger and ring finger and pinky. Okay. Okay, now repeat that with your right hand, please. Thank you. Now please look into the camera and hold while I take your photo. Do you have any questions? No. Thank you. Okay. Here's your passport. Have a safe trip. Now let's look in a little bit more detail at what those questions mean. Can I see your passport, please? 
probably the first thing that the customs officer is going to ask you for is your passport. So just make sure you have it ready and if you have it open at the page with your photograph and your details on it. Normally they're going to scan um, the passport uh, and then just give it back to you. What's the purpose of your visit? What's the purpose? Why? Why are you coming to the United States? Are you here for business? Are you here for pleasure? Are you here visiting friends? Are you visiting family? What, why have you come to the United States? That's what we mean by what is the purpose of your visit. How long will you be staying in the United States? When we say how long, what we mean is how much time. So, of course, normally the customs officer wants to know the exact period of time you're staying. Are you staying for one week or two weeks? Is it 10 days? You need to be very specific with the exact amount of time you plan to stay in the United States. Where will you be staying? So here you need to be, again, very specific. If you are staying at a hotel, you need to have the address of the hotel. If you are staying with family, or maybe you're traveling between a family and maybe a different destination, you need to make sure that you know the addresses of those different places and that you can give them to the customs official. Are you bringing anything into the country you want to declare? So you're bringing something into the country. It may be clothes, it may be machinery, whatever it is. It's something that you need to declare because it has, normally it has a monetary value. That means it's worth some money. And of course, if you're bringing stuff into the United States that you're looking to sell, then the customs officials want to know about that. Can you place your index finger from your left hand on the screen? When the customs officials ask to take your fingerprints, it might be that they ask you to put your fingers on the scanner individually. Let's just quickly go through the names of your fingers. This is your thumb. This is your index finger. This is your middle finger. This is your ring finger and this is your pinky. So if they do your fingers individually, I don't think they do, but just in case if they ask, oh, can you now put down your index finger? It's that one. You now put down your middle finger. It's that one. Now put down your ring finger. It's that one. And now put down your pinky. This little one is called your pinky. It's that. One. Okay, so you'd put them down. But I think, honestly, they put your thumb and then your four fingers, if I remember correctly. Now look directly into the camera. Again, another part of the biometrics is that they're going to take your photograph. So probably somewhere um, on the, the counter, there's a, there's a camera. It's normally a webcam, I think. It sits on top of their computer, but they're going to ask you to look directly into it and they're going to take a photograph. In the next section, I'm just going to answer a few of the common questions that you'll have when you come to the United States, get off the airplane, and you're going into customs. What do I need to do when I get off the plane? When you come off the airplane, of course, you're going to be with all of the other passengers who are traveling to the United States, and you're going to go to an area of the airport called passport control. You'll come into uh, a big room, obviously with lots of people in there, you'll see lots of different lines. Um, there'll be the US citizens, so if you're American, then you'll go into that line. There's normally an EU citizen line as well, so that's for people from the European Union. And then you'll have international. So normally if you're from anywhere else in the world, you have to go to the international line and get into that line and then wait until you go through to speak to a customs official. What is a customs form? On the flight, normally, 
uh, the hostess will hand out uh, these little forms, right? And there's a picture here, and they're your, your sort of declaration forms. Um, so you're gonna fill that out, and then you're gonna take it with you, and you're gonna give it to the customs officer. If you don't fill it out on the airplane, don't worry, because they have those exact same forms when you get into passport control. They're normally just sitting on the side, or, or sometimes people are handing them out as well. There are gonna be some important parts to that form that you need to fill out. You're gonna to need to put in your name, of course. You're gonna to need to put in the address of the place that you're staying. You're also gonna to need to put your passport number, the flight number, and then there's a lot of sort of yes and no questions about things that you might be bringing into the United States. There's also a question about how much money you're bringing into the United States. Uh, obviously, if you're bringing in a very large amount of money, they, they, they'll want to know about that. What do I do when I get to the passport control officer? Well, this is exactly what we practiced in the conversation. Really, it's very, very quick. Obviously, there's a lot of people waiting to come into the United States, so it's normally a very fast interaction. They might ask you a few questions. They're gonna look at your passport, check to make sure it's you. They might ask you a few questions about your trip. You give them your declaration form. They might ask you a question about your declaration form. They're gonna take your fingerprints and take a photo, and that's it. And then you're gonna move on and go through to get your bags. What do I do after the customs check? After you've gone through customs, that's it. You're here, you're in the United States. Congratulations, you made it. Um, the next step, of course, is to go get your bags. And so you just walk out through the customs office and you just look around for signs that either say baggage or they might say baggage claim. Now, Airports are pretty big here in the United States, so it might take you a while, so just keep following those signs for either baggage or baggage claim. In today's lesson, we look specifically at going to the airport and going through passport control and speaking to a customs officer. If you enjoyed the lesson, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more lessons like this, click to subscribe.